Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at a couple of new cases from TAC for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And I wanna give a big thanks to TAC for sending these cases out for review. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so the first case we'll take a look at is the standard case 1.0. Uh, this one comes in at about $25, comes in a couple different colors. So it comes in onyx black, also comes in arctic white, as well as shadow gray. On this on the website here, you can see uh, the different options that we have here. I think I have the um, I think I have the Onyx Black. So let's go ahead and check it out. Now these are like minimalist kind of cases. So if you're looking for something really thin and minimalist, this is definitely the one to look for, and really inexpensive too. So that's pretty nice. So we have this uh, really nice little bag, and let's see if I can actually get it out of the bag. That'd be a good good thing too. There we go. All right. So as you can see, very very minimalist. This is literally like nothing. There's like nothing here. So this is this is definitely minimal. So if you still want to enjoy the thinness of your phone, uh, this is definitely the one to get. This is not going to offer protection. I can tell you that right off the bat. Um, but it will cover your phone. It will protect the camera, uh, not the front. I don't think that there is going to be any lip protection on the front. And then this is like super thin, like really impressively thin. So you guys remember the Pataka cases I showed you a while back. This is like on that level of thin. So let's go ahead and put our phone in here. Wow, that is insanely thin. Look at that. That's crazy. Look at how thin that is. So taking a look around, this one, wow, it is like so thin I can't even stand it. Look at that's crazy. Okay, so we do have protection for the camera, so that will protect it. So if you put it down on its face, you're going to have protection for the camera. There is no front protection. Uh, I don't think this even goes... It might go a little hair over uh, the front of it, but not really. You can see that we have no button covers. It's actually, you know, right through. But look at the cutouts. Those are so precise, even for the silent switch. That's super, that's super impressive, I got to say. Um, wow. I'm impressed by that. And then the same thing with the power button. Look at that. A perfect cutout for that. And then the bottom, you actually have holes for the speaker and mic for each individual hole and then a lightning port and it is just so paper thin i can't believe that's you know it's you know i was i was not really sure how i'd feel about this but i actually kind of like it now because it is so precise and it keeps it so thin so it's not going to offer you any protection but i mean it'll protect it from scratches and the camera but that's about it but wow what a thin case so definitely a nice one if you're looking for something minimalist so let's take a look at the, yeah, the next one. All right, so the next one we're gonna take a look at is the clear case. This, this one comes in a little bit pricier at $29, um, and it just comes in ice is the color. And this one's a little different because it actually has um, cutouts for each individual camera versus a one large camera cutout. All right, so similar bag to the first case. I already had it open. Let me get that back open there. And this one is just as thin. Uh, but yeah, the difference is going to be the actual individual cutouts for the camera. So, golly, this is crazy. So super simple to put in. I'm not going to lie. That's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. So you get the full view of your brand new iPhone. You get some protection for the back. And then you do get, it's got a raised lip for the camera, but it's individual. It's actually individual covers for each of the lenses. I cannot believe how crazy that is. So the same thing with this one, the super precise cutout for the power, for the silent, and then for the volume, and then on the bottom, the individual holes for all of the microphone and speaker. I just can't get over this. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy how thin this is. So this may not be my style, really, of case, because I don't trust myself with nice things. Um, but if you're looking for a super minimalist case... Both of these are absolutely crazy. I just can't get over how thin these are, um, but also how precise the cutouts are and how nice they look. Um, so this does add kind of a glossy feel to it, but I think they have a frosted, more frosted one um, than this one. But just insane. Look at how thin that is. So if you're looking for something super minimalist, these are definitely the way to go. So let's test out MagSafe compatibility with this case. Now, obviously it doesn't have a MagSafe ring, but it is so thin, I guarantee it will definitely work. And I'm right. And it's actually nearly as strong as it is just on the phone itself. Wow. So yeah, it's super thin 
and MagSafe works almost perfectly. All right, guys, so there you have it. A quick look at these two cases from TAC. So again, thank you to them for sending these out to review. If you guys are interested, I'll leave a link down below where you can find these. And if you're looking for something super thin and minimalist, these are definitely it. Check these out. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.